Okay, I reloaded Big Dappuccino here. Been sitting on this content for a little bit. Got caught up. I ain't not going to say I was busy. Kind of busy with work. Kind of dealing with with this channel, which way I want to go. I haven't been on the pegs like that. Other things been catching my attention. I had to do some other things. And where I was shopping, Wundo Diecast. I was at a five below near me, but they don't sell diecast. And even though a Marshalls was there, they rarely do diecast. So, and not the right scale. I usually try to stick to 164. But anyway, let's go on because this is a Fast and the Furious movie car showcase. I know the short video was not that popular, so I was kind of hesitant to do this video, but I decided to go ahead because I had a content prepped and I need to get it out of the way so I can move on. So first, what we got on the turntable right there is the 70 Dodge Charger RT that debuted in 2011 new models designed by Brendan Vituski. This is the Hot Wheels entertainment fast and the furious 2014 version in matte black with detailed tail lights front grille rt on the sides rt emblems on the sides it, yeah okay i said it's matte matte black oh it's got a matte black um metal black black painted metal base uh clear windows black interior rr 5 sp wheels deep dish chrome this is the car from the fourth movie fast and furious that was supposed to have been damaged in the tunnels of a cave in mexico during the uh actual pack sequence later in the movie but it always returns i always wonder is it a different charge or Cause this one pretty much was destroyed it was an explosion so it would, couldn't be made back but it appears it pops up in the next movie in the fifth movie so you don't know if that's a newer charger or because this when it appears next time it doesn't have a blowout the hood and this one supposed to say bds but slightly different from the other one and how the older first no, that's that's a that that's a whole different one. I think that's from the fifth movie. No, probably not. This is the one for the first movie. Blow is totally different, and the headlights are usually explodes when they show it on the screen. Next, let's move. We're gonna go back to. We're gonna go back to the uh, main line. We're jumping ahead, I know. This car is a 70 Monte Carlo, Chevrolet Monte Carlo, debuted in Classics Series 5, 2009. It was designed by the legendary Larry Wood. This is the uh, Fast and Furious 2019 version in beige. Or tan, I guess you could say tan, but it's beige. They say silver roof and pillars, gray hood, silver stripes on sides, chrome light plastic base. It has tinted light blue windows. I think you can see through the weird the rear window is definitely like a light blue. It has black interior and black 5 SP wheels. This car was featured in the third movie, Tokyo Drift. This is Sean Boswell's project car that you see him working on at the high school auto shop scene. You know, they don't explain how he paid for all them parts. You know, he's supposed to be 
pretty much, I guess they live in, I don't know if they live in a trailer park or what. I know his his mother works as a, I think she works as a, look like a waitress or something. Yeah. I had the book that went with, that went with the, uh, when the movie came out. I actually had two books. Two or more. Probably had three. And this car supposedly had, I think, 650 to 800 horsepower in one version. All the rest of them, I think, only had like four, 400 or 500 horsepower or something like that. And they were powered by, I think, a, um, a V8. They were powered by a Chevrolet V8 crate engine, I think. So in real life, it probably could smoke that Viper. Next. Sorry, my hands in the way. Where are we going to go next? So we might as well, because we went way over there. We're going to talk about Letty and them. Letty and Dominic's car, probably. Okay, yeah. Let's go with Dominic's car. This is the Monster RX-7, it's called the FD3S, that's designation, um, 95 Monster RX-7, that's what it's supposed to be a replica of, and this debuted in, well the casting debuted in then and now, 2017, they designed by June I May. This is the Fast and the Furious original Fast 2019 version in red with the graphics that were supplied by Martin a company called Martin Image and the two thousand for the two thousand one movie. Uh has a red metal base, tenant windows, tan interior, RRMC wheels. This is the first call we see Dominic Toretto driving. I think it appeared in three scenes from the first movie. And there are slight differences to the way the car appeared. The rear wing kind of stuck up a little more. It's like independent. It's, this is more like a factory wing or something like that. But I think they tried to get the body kit as close as possible. But I think it's flared a little bit more on the real car. Of course, the wheels look nothing like this. They're like some, I think it's like 10 spoke or 12 spoke or something like that wheels instead of these lace wheel looking wheels next we're going to do Letty's car on the first movie this is a Nissan 240SX commonly known as the S14 it debuted in Fast and the Furious original Fast 2019 designed by Mark Jones and Jimmy Liu which this is that version. Burgundy, detailed headlights, tail lights, logos including Toyo tires, a number nine, surfer logo on both sides, DT on the hood. Similar to what the Mazda has, has the DT on the hood too. Yeah, black metal base, black windows, black interior, chrome, RR6, SPM wheels. This is Letty Ortiz's car. 
from the first movie, The Fast and the Furious. It's a smooth looking ride. Next, we're gonna do, uh, might as well do the Jetta. If it makes sense. We got the uh, Volkswagen Jetta Mark III, debuted in Fast and the Furious, original Fast 2019, designed by Mark Jones. This one is from the Fast and the Furious collector set that came out in 2020. It has the detailed lights, grill, logos, vinyls. You see the robot man uh vinyl on the side supplied again by um martin image uh black metal base well based on the, the uh design by martin image went tinted windows smoked tinted windows in fact black interior gray r r e wheels Based on the car driven by Jesse in the first movie. The actor's name was uh, Chad Lindbergh. Who also had a recurring role on a couple of seasons of uh, Supernatural. Oh, he's a pretty cool actor. And I was stoked to get this car. We'll do finish do the yeah let's do the Toyota Supra we got the Toyota Supra that debuted in HW City Street Power 2013 was designed by June I May this is the Fast and the Furious Collector Set 2020 version that was packaged with the Jetta and the Charger yeah, this charger right here, and uh, there's the carrier right there. So, so it's orange with the green and silver design on the sides. Uh, details, logos. Not truly accurate, but try to get close. It has a black plastic base. Great RR6 SPM wheels based on a 1994 Toyota Supra with a, gen with a generic looking aftermarket kit that includes an aftermarket looking hood and rear wing that is supposed to represent the car Brian O'Connor drove in some crucial scenes from the first Fast and the Move. Excuse me, first Fast and the Furious movie in 2001. There was a 2016 version I had that looked horrible. The headlights were not done. I don't think the taillights were either. I think the taillights might have been done. So this is a improvement for me. Took a while to get this one, but finally got it in the collector set which was a win-win because I got the VW Jetta too so that was a good day okay next we might as well go to the Too Fast and Too Furious car next we have the Nissan Skyline Nissan Skyline GTR 34 Debuted in 2010, new models designed by Phil Rauman. This is the Fast and the Furious Fast Imports 2019 version, silver with blue stripes. Has a black metal base, tinted gray windows, dark gray interior, chrome RR6 SPM wheels. The casting is based on a Nissan GTR R2. 
think it was supposed to be 99, if I'm correct. And of course, this particular one is a gear, of course. It's supposed to represent the car, the actor Paul Walker, who played Brian O'Connor, drove in the beginning of the Too Fast, Too Furious movie. And the paint job is supposed to, is supposed to pay homage to the Mustang from Steve McQueen's uh, movie Bullet and the Yanko Camaro Super Coupes from the late 60s on the side, the designs on the side. So. Yeah, I was find, shocked to find this bad boy in the pegs of Target one day. There's a blue version, I think it was from the, I want to say, the fourth movie that I need, would like to have too, but eh, I have green light versions of Skyline, so I'm not really. Next, I guess we'll do the, uh. Tokyo Drift. Information. And surprisingly, I don't. <laughs> so that's from Tokyo Drift, but we can't do that one because I did not do the infinite, do the research. Why I didn't, I don't know. So we're gonna have to move on with something I I did research on. And we have the Ford Escort RS 1600 that debuted in HW Workshop. HW Garage 2015 designed by Frazier Campbell Fast and the Furious Fast Imports 2019 blue with white stripes uh, has an unpainted metal base clear windows gray interior gold RR 8 SP wheels was driven by Paul Walker uh, who we who played Brian O'Connor and Fast and Furious 6. Very underrated car. And I think we're going to go last and just do this Lamborghini since I don't have the, the thing on the S15. We all know this is Mona Lisa was driven by uh, Sean Boswell in the third movie even though it belonged to the carrots on Han, so you got the 2010 Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggero I think that's how it's pronounced Super Leggero I'm oh, sorry 2011 new models designer is unknown that's strange uh, this is the Fast and Furious Fast Imports 2019 version in metal flake yellow black and white side stripes headlights and tail lights done black metal base clear windows black interior black rr 10 sp wheels this what movie oh, excuse me this car appeared in the in the fast and the fury six driven by roman pierce played by tyrese gibson it's not in any race scenes. It's shown at the Toretto's house near the end of the movie. So that's pretty much it for the Fast and Furious car showcase. So like I always say, this is not the best diecast channel. It's not the worst either. 
the model here is to show a little love for the diecast. I want to thank the subscribers for holding me down as far as random viewers who happen upon this channel. I encourage you to subscribe, hit the notification button, and hit the, uh, the like or dislike or leave a comment behind. Until the next time, this is Big Dapacino signing out. Peace and blessings to everybody.